Hi, you guys, and welcome to day 14 of my 365 vlog challenge. Excuse my hair, by the way. Um, it was definitely a lazy day for me. I did a lot of cleaning, and I did laundry. I even baked some cookies, chocolate chip cookies, actually, and they were delicious. I ate about, like, five of them. <laughs> we're just going to ignore that. Um, so today, I really actually did intend on doing a video on something else, but unfortunately, it became a really large project. So I just decided to do, uh, so I just decided to delete it and um, record this right here. I also figured why not just show you guys a sweet little, like I guess you can call it a hair lapse of my hair growth in progress from when I first started. It shouldn't be that long, I don't think. I haven't actually put the pictures in, but as soon as I'm done talking, I promise the pictures will be in. <laughs> but yeah, on that note, here are the pictures. I hope you enjoy. So as you can see, I'm here now, <laughs> which I need to do some sort of moisturizing treatment to it, obviously, right? But I have been through wigs, sew-ins, clips, um, I don't know, flat ironing a lot. I've never had a perm. I repeat, I have never, ever, ever had a perm, but I did, and I'm finally admitting it after years, that I had heat damage. Um, the heat damage mainly came from me being off in school alone, never doing my own hair, got a flat iron, uh, got a set of flat irons for my birthday one year, and I'm just like, oh, I can do my own hair, it's easy, and little did I know I was destroying my hair, and so I tried sew-ins next to help me out, and I had, like, you know, the partial with, like, a little bit out, which just was, like, once this short, I don't know if you noticed from the videos, and, uh, that caused a lot of heat damage, like, the rest of it grew, but this part right here was ridiculous, like, Partial sew-ins, like, I guess you gotta know what you're doing with the flat irons, whatever, but, yeah, then I tried wigs to kind of, like, oh, I'm sick of sew-ins, it destroyed my hair, but then I discovered closures later in the lapse, as you probably saw, closures are a blessing, but the thing is they're high maintenance as hell, like, you have to make sure you keep that shit tight and, like, aligned, because if not, you'll be looking like a fool with, like, all this hair on your closure back here type thing, which I never, um, uh, I only had like one closure, but I didn't really let it get that bad. Matter of fact, I took out my sewing after like two months just because I missed my afro so much. Um, other than that, yeah, let's see, that lapse is probably two years worth of different pictures and styles. I didn't put them in any particular order because, um, I don't know, maybe some of them are a little self-explanatory of where I'm at, and uh, also it's like, that's a lot of work, <laughs> and I'm, my shows are coming on soon, we got American Horror Stories coming on today, as well as SVU, I'm about to make this chicken real quick and get comfortable, I might even pop open some wine, just saying, so uh, yeah, that's why I didn't have time to put the video, or the pictures within the video in order. But, yep, it's definitely within the past two years. And I'm also going to include, I guess, at the end of me talking right now, a video of the length check I did recently. Um, I usually don't do length checks. I, usually, I just don't really care <laughs> about the progress of my hair as long as it's healthy. I could care less about length and things like that. I could tell you one thing, though, for sure, going natural, like completely natural, not just like flat iron natural, because that's how I used to rock my hair, but afro natural has given me a shitload of confidence. I can tell you that much. And I love it. Although with it being wintertime and 
I have a few events coming up. I do plan on getting a protective style. I don't know exactly what I'm getting, but I plan on doing something. Who knows? I might get a nice little 20 inch, you know, hair weave, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna work it out. But on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow for day 15. And that just tripped me up a little bit. Day 15. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, I will see you tomorrow. And, uh, for all my American Horror Story fans and SVU fans, feel free to um, join me in my my tweeting about those shows. I usually like to go on there and just, oh my God, did you see that? And you know, look at all the funny memes that people come up with on the spot. So follow me at KMO Forever on Twitter, or if you want to look at some more of my hair pictures, feel free to um, follow me on Instagram at KMO Love with two E's and I will see you tomorrow. Bye you guys.